and and the way they figured and part of the way they figured out about that was September 11th. Uh, all the plane tra uh, airplane traffic over the United States stopped, so the errors, you know, the airplane, you know, clear, uh, cleaned up over the United States, mm -hmm. and the temperature went up. But, you know, say anything? Anything you guys mind? You know, I think these are all really, really good ideas. And I think we all probably want to be part of this. Okay. But, you know, ever since I've lived here, the uh, economy has been really, really bad. And the poverty up here has always been higher than the national level. And people here are just trying to scrape and save and get food on the table. They would like to be part of this, you know, big, lofty idea. And number one, they don't have the, the money. Number two, they don't have the education. And, and that boils down to not having an urgency to do that. And so that has to be created first. And the poverty level has to be uh, diminished. And you know, I don't see that happening. Yeah. Um, what I notice is the, the leadership of the various communities, they keep seeing more houses as a solution to problems. And, you know, I don't see more houses as a solution because that's just more mouths to feed, that's more infrastructure that has to be built and maintained. You know, uh, so we got this new mall. To get that new mall, the city of El Centro had to forego the maintenance of its road network for like a year or two just to make the $2 million to start building that mall out there. And the thing is, you know, the first thing they should have done was upgrade it at overpass. The overpass is still really bad, it, you know, and it's leading to you know accidents and traffic jams, and people are avoiding it, and that's what kind of stifle a lot of business going to that mall. So why didn't they, you know, put the you know the horse before the cart instead of the other way around? And that's just you know poor leadership. But then again, that was also because they, you know they weren't able, they couldn't generate the money, the like what five million dollars to upgrade that overpass. Part of that, part of that is not necessarily the city, because the city has done their part. When they put that mall in, the developers of that mall, there are, uh, they have to make improvements in the roads and uh, the outlining, and and to do that, it takes the city, the developers, the county, and uh, Caltrans. Mm -hmm. And the biggest problem in the whole thing is Caltrans. Mm -hmm. Getting them to approve the plans to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. they, they, they've been trying, one of the first things that was supposed to be done is that bridge over mm -hmm. Interstate 8, and Caltrans wouldn't approve it. They still, they have just now approved to put in the signal lights there on Bob Gordon and the Interstate. Mm -hmm. Not widen it like they have also are trying to do. Have we proved to widen it, but we're going to put signal lights in, it's going to cost us several hundred thousand dollars, and then we're going to widen it and have to change the signal lights. Yeah. And it's Caltrans is the biggest problem. Mm -hmm. And their regulations. Yeah, it, it, it seems like everywhere in Trail Valley it's you know, there's a problem, let's put a band aid on it. Well, and the other problem is because of where we're located, so many dollars that go to transportation or to highways, uh, we don't get the money. We don't get our fair share of the money in the state. It goes to areas like Los Angeles or Riverside San Francisco Bay. or yeah. places that, yeah. not, uh, we don't get our share. Yeah. You go up to the San Francisco Bay Area and like broad, you know, five or eight, ten lane wide, uh, you know, freeway exchanges. You know, and well paid, well maintained. Yeah. Uh, you know, flat piece of land, and they make a you know a, br a bridge that goes up, you know, like 30, 40 feet up in the air. You know, for the interchanges. And here, it's like what it, they're able to scrape a little bit of dirt together to make an overpass ramp. So, so they were part of putting in that mall in too. They were supposed to put a new signal light on mm -hmm. 111 on the Cave Road. Yeah. And what did Caltrans do? They closed off the cable road so you could in turn make a left hand turn there. Yeah. Instead of helping solve the problem, they yeah. created the problem. So yeah, very good. It's big government. Yeah. <laughs> no, they uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, 
and it takes years and years to get things done. Yeah. And and the thing is, you know, we we're the you know we're the fruit basket for San Diego, Los Angeles, Las Vegas, uh, maybe a little bit of Yuma, but you know Phoenix. You know, so much food is produced here, and yet we're, we don't have that much attention. I went to Hawaii and I bought tomatoes from the Pier Valley. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Three dollars for tomatoes. Yeah. I only took <laughs> Um, yeah, I live in Hawaii myself, so it'd be okay. Very expensive. Yeah. All right, uh, well, anybody else have anything to say or anything on their minds? Any questions? Doubts? Worries? Concerns? Uh, these are mostly the members of my class. Mm -hmm. I encourage them to come here and I'm going to make a, a project in a class, but mostly it's to get them aware and in the future perhaps some of these will go, some of my students will have the um, entrepreneurial spirit, spirit mm -hmm. to perhaps start something like that, you know? Because mm -hmm. it does take a lot of time and it does take, I think, more awareness than anything. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow's mm -hmm. legislators. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow's mm -hmm. legislators. Exactly. You don't like, if you don't like the status quo, go out and change it. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm, I'm curious if any of you are interested in starting um, like an ongoing kind of green project, um, just so we can get more uh, teens especially involved in the library. Um, what is something that we could do here that could impact our community? Because, I, I don't know, maybe I'm biased because I want to be a librarian, but I feel like the library is kind of um, the hub of a community, it's, um, or it should be anyway, because it's, you know, that's, your center for information. It's your access to knowledge and the outside world, and that's where you know changes can um, begin. So, is there something that you guys would like to see in the library? Um, something that you would be interested in getting together on? Um, maybe we can just do like a monthly, you know, bring your old newspapers to the library day or something, and all the teams could get them together, and we'll take them over to the recycling place or. Just anything like that. If you guys have ideas, I'm really interested in um, finding out what, what they would be. I know that uh, at uh, one of the high schools, there's a volu like a volunteer group or a volunteer club or an altruism club. Keep up. Any, any, you guys hear about that? It's like a club, and their whole thing is to volunteer, do you know, good, positive stuff for the community. We have community service at yeah. the school. Yeah. I know that, yeah, a lot of the students have come in and, I mean, we've, we've um, definitely have them doing tasks that need to be done um, because staff hours are, are limited. Um, but I was wondering if, if you have, like, an idea for a volunteer project. If, um, I mean, I, I, I don't know about Mr. Banks. But I think that that could be counted as your volunteer hours here at the library for working, you know, together on a project. Um, maybe something yeah. having to do with uh, either this book or just the concept of going green in general. Yeah. Obama did. Obama did say if he was elected president uh, for like uh, the first four thousand or forty thousand uh, dollars of your tuition for college, they would pay for. But you would have to work like a hundred hours of community service. So equivalently, you'd be you know working for forty dollars an hour. So where would that money come from? Exactly. Where they put it? Where they put it? Can it come from my future work if I ever work? Is that? Yeah, it comes from current taxpayers. Yeah. Uh, well, it was two thousand, and then two thousand, then two thousand two. And don't forget the sales tax. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, so I was mind that because personally, I make less than what? Maybe, no, not even 10000 a year, and I'm still paying 